All right, turning back to the highly politicized district attorney in Manhattan, Alvin Bragg, our next guest argues his case is not only flimsy, but it's taking all the oxygen out of the room from real crises throughout the country. Joining us now is Florida's attorney general, Ashley Moody. General Moody, good to see you. Great to be with you, Sean. Well, you know, you've been outspoken on this, arguing that a lot of other major news stories are being ignored because the networks uh, and all the other big new media organizations have been obsessed with this Trump indictment. Uh, I know you've got this Florida grand jury recently accusing the federal government of, quote, facilitating forced migration, sale and abuse of foreign children. Talk to us about this. I mean, what, what do we need to know about this? Think about this, Sean. You have a grand jury who's been looking at the smuggling of foreign children into our nation and then moved around our country, often put with people they don't know. They've lost track of tens of thousands of children. In some instances, the addresses they're being sent to are strip clubs. Uh, they've been they've been raped, they've been trafficked. It is unbelievable the abuse that these children are exposed to all under the direction of the Biden administration and the policies that have allowed this to happen. So you have a grand jury that has basically said this administration is facilitating the trafficking of children. As a mother, this disgusts me, and I cannot believe this isn't the leading news story on every news organization in this country. And Sean, thank you so much for bringing attention to this and helping us get the word out. The only way this administration is gonna change anything is if folks start paying attention and people understand what is happening to children right here in this country. I, I mean, I actually, I just, it, it literally is disgusting to hear this and the idea that no one's paying attention. So just walk back a second. These children are coming into the country, right? I assume they don't have a guardian or a parent or a place to go. And then what's happening? So let me just remind you, some time ago, as we all heard and learned about, there were nighttime flights happening. They wouldn't communicate with state authorities to let us know this was happening. Children were being shipped all over the United States by cover of night. And if you'll remember, we had one come here that wasn't a child at all. It was a 24-year-old illegal immigrant that murdered a father of four right here in Florida. So Governor DeSantis impaneled or asked the Supreme Court to impanel a grand jury to look at what organizations, some transnational criminal organizations or right, some individuals and organizations right here in our United States that were facilitating the smuggling of foreign children into our nation. And this grand jury did its job. And if someone were to read this report and not have any understanding of what's happening, it is far exceeding what we ever thought. It is well beyond nighttime flights that nobody knew about. This is about children so General Moody that they have lost track of. They're being put with people they do not know, and some are being pimped out. I, I just, it, it sounds like something out of a movie. I, I mean, let me just ask you this. I got 30 seconds left, which is not enough time to get to deal with this. But if if, if the grand jury returns, like in, in a normal case, I, a, a grand jury returns an indictment or whatever, I'm not an attorney, but what, what, what would be the next step that would happen real quick? Well, the statewide grand jury will continue investigating. If there are uh, charges that are merited, that will be up to them. Uh, certainly our office will continue to advise the grand jury. But what Americans need to remember, and thank you, Sean, for recognizing this, you know, when I heard about this happening, when I realized that fentanyl was flooding in, that children were flooding in, that our nation was really being put in jeopardy, I said, you know, we need to give credit where credit is due. Biden has become the trafficker in chief. And this grand jury report, says all you need to know about whether there are facts to back that up. He is indeed and has rightfully earned the title of trafficker in chief. Well, look, uh, I think I appreciate you, your efforts on this, because not only is it not getting the media attention it deserves, but if it wasn't for people like you, it wouldn't be getting any attention. So Florida Attorney General Ashley Moody, thank you for championing this, bringing it to our attention, but more importantly, fighting for these children. So God bless you and thank you for being here. Thanks, Sean. You bet.